No doubt that uh, bass hum is just an index of my power, the power you're about to be exposed to. Uh, just a little preview uh, of my reservoir. Uh, let me take a moment before we get started to thank Level Up for flying us all out here to perform this feat for y'all. Uh, <laughs> indeed. <clears throat> uh, and we have a very particular uh, introduction ritual uh, that I will now undertake. Uh, I am Tycho Brahe of Penny Arcade and PAX. I am also a Menifis Harroward drawn CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But today, I am your internet friend, Jerriford K. Horcrims, and I'm here to run a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends, specifically these friends. To my right, Dragonborn Narcissist, Dinar Blitzen. <laughs> <laughs> What did I tell you? Uh, <laughs> and then it's just down. Uh, to the right of my right, repping the natural world, walnut dong grass kakra. Uh, and to my left, uh, not your grandma's grandma, except in those rare cases uh, where she is your grandma's grandma, Rosie Beestinger. Unflappable, <laughs> unflappable. Uh, to the left of my left, emerging as though from a mist shroud, Cathris Drow. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hello. I'm, I'm yeah. so glad. I mean, we, we, we went through the extra expense of having a shroud installed, so oh, that's it's... marvelous. Jesus Christ. Like, hot, I, I can't even... I hot mic. Cathrice. Yes. <laughs> no, the power's been, like, metabolized here in the space. Concentrated? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when last uh, the C-team was upon this very stage, um, you may recall uh, that we set up... Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll help you. Okay. You can't recall. And because I'm going to help them understand, too, and then just look at me with understanding as though it was something you knew the entire time. That's how um, I get through every game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Her. Now, uh, we sort of initiated a ritual, uh, which was that once a year, uh, the C team would return to the Doomgate Inn um, in order to get something like an inoculation um, against a lycanthropic curse. Now, Prince Blitzen, would you like to go into the curse at all or, or how the party might have contracted it? <laughs> just, just, just top yeah. line it for him, if wait, you would. Wait, yeah, Dinar, um, what's your what's your take on this? Uh, in one special, <laughs> I got bit by a werebear. Oh. And then Dinar was uh, embarrassed about it, so for a whole year, he was making pies and treats for everyone, and then spitting in said pies and putting 
toenails and parts of his body in it <laughs> so that everyone don't else would get the curse as well. Don't think I didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, walnut, little, that a little extra... Mwah. Walnut, I don't want to call you out, but you liked the toenail ones the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's, just, it's that taste of home. <laughs> yeah. So that way, if everyone had the curse, no one can make fun of him. If everyone has a curse. Which is his... No one has the curse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Look, if we all have herpes, no one has herpes, right? Right? It's a new, it's a new baseline. <laughs> <laughs> we, so we, just, we start from herpes. Right. And then we move forward from there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, gathered friends, uh, that time has come yet again uh, for... Herpes? Yes. Uh, we're gonna, Already? We're going to get it worked out. It's like... <laughs> ah, the time zones. I'm all... <laughs> exactly. That's it's that's like right, even yeah. at home. Usually I get herpes at, you know, around three in the afternoon. <laughs> Uh, her no. clock somewhere. <laughs> you just, you're just looking at a weeping sore. Uh. Um, so uh, it is time again, again uh, for the uh, gaudy and ostentatious black cart of the C team, uh, which you may recall uh, has a storied history here in the Deserin Valley. Uh, one of very, very few franchises in Acquisitions Incorporated to have a wild card license, but they cut their teeth. Uh, helping locals uh, resolve issues uh, in this particular area. Now, um, uh, as you uh, round the corner here in the southern part of the Sumber Hills, uh, you have an expectation, of course, uh, a deep and profound expectation to emerge from around this corner. Uh, once you pass this uh, giant mound and see the Doomgate Inn, and you definitely do see the gate of the Doomgate Inn sort of lazily swinging on its hinge uh, in a kind of spectral greeting, perhaps. But the Doomgate Inn itself proper uh, is not there in the classic sense. What? Oh. So by not there in the classic sense, it is not there. Yes. <laughs> in the classic sense. Yeah. yeah. But it's there... In, in, our, in the non-classic. Oh wait, that it, means that it is here. Yeah, but in the non-classic. And we yeah, go inside. Right. Well, yeah. no, you can't. We go outside. Uh, no, no, it's obviously the Doomgate Inn is still in your hearts. Hmm. Um, oh, well, I go in that one. <laughs> in your mind. Yeah, it's um, it away. <laughs> but when it comes to like an actual inn that you might go into, uh, that's not there. All right, well, I guess there's no adventure today. All right. Thanks, everybody. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mulpy, obviously. Um, <clears throat> what is there? Uh, there is uh, what looks like, I mean, you can see some of the uh, topiaries, uh, obviously designed to honor various mythical beasts. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a short uh, sort of circular drive out front uh, everything that, imagine that like the rest of the setting is all there. And honestly, if you have the means, this would be an incredible place to build an inn. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it, yeah, so there's is not like level? a hole, there's not a crater, there's just a flat there is grass. A, there is a flat plain, and the closer you get uh, to it, there is a, uh, a mass of churned earth. So the last time we saw a civilization that had been turned to nature, it was totally Walnut's fault. So what? I turned. I turn <laughs> wearily to Walnut. Ugh. I'd be like, "What? What'd you do? I didn't do this. I don't want to be a werebear again." <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> maybe I did do this. <laughs> there are pluses. There, there are, are pluses. pluses. There's cons. There's pros. We're going to talk about it. We're at a con right now. Let's talk about it while we stand in the, on the plane on that flat earth. Hmm, flat earth. Oh. oh. You're pushing this agenda again, Kudris. <laughs> nobody's going to buy it. That's who's responsible. <laughs> <laughs> the flat earthers did this? And they did this as proof that there can be flat earth. <laughs> it's just a proof of concept. Yeah. Well, no. You scale this yeah, up. It's all about scale, yeah. No, yeah. It's like, if you could do it here, you could do it here. Of course, yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's one of these situations. It's like the, um, it's like the creationism of a park, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like an amusement park, but for flat earthers. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, real flat, very level. <laughs> Something about this I like. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> all, all right. right. So do there's... We, do we, um, 
Do we have the resources to build an in here? Do we bring them with us? <laughs> um, it's it's not. Uh, that's I mean that's not what I I don't have that in my notes. Um, but but yes, given enough time and uh, enough help, uh, maybe just plant a Nemesir seed right here in the middle of this earth. Did you bring one? <laughs> I'm always packing. <laughs> Your bandolier. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, no, it, it's, in a, it's in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Should we contact like local contractors? Yeah, yeah I think it's time okay. to find. We could we could try to get some investors. Let's get some bids. Okay, but yeah. is there an Angie's list in D and D? Yes. But the curse. Do you want to be a werebear again? We need to find Trevor. Oh. Trevor. Wow. I want to investigate these these familiar these, these topiaries. Soils. Not the soil, the topiaries, because I want to see like they are different creatures, right? They are indeed. Are they are they shaped? Uh, to like maybe reacting to the missing in, like they're going, oh no, or maybe like, like that. So it's like it's going that way. Look, <laughs> just that that last frozen moment yeah. of awareness. Uh, no, you don't no see sign. anything. You don't see anything like that. But the default state of these topiary are to gaze upon the Doom Gate in, oh. in perpetual terror. So they were just ready to go when whatever happened happened, and it was just mm. a happy coincidence. All right. I'll Stop clock. <laughs> I want to go eat some of this dirt. And by eat, I just mean taste. I yeah. want to see what's going on with the dirt. Face first. Face first. Hum, nom, nom, nom. Nice. Okay. I'll get Wait. to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she means it literally. <laughs> but it's just like a hinge, just like, Two like from the tip of the, from the, tip of the shoe. <laughs> so uh, you uh, approach it, and it's just like soft, fresh, mm. cool, uh, sort of autumn air. Uh, commingled with this loose soil, absolutely ready to perform uh, noble labors, to be sure. But you can see, uh, as you get down close to it, you can see, have you ever seen like, um, yes. have you ever been clamming? Yes. Right? Shooting clams. Yeah, exactly. So you know how, uh, sort of, you'll see like the regular beach, and then you'll see kind of like. Yes. So uh, very near the center of this, churned realm is little gouts of sand sort of being uh, sort of shot out at different angles. Oh, no. Uh, we got ground clams. <laughs> Land clam. <laughs> no. But I mean, this is going to be, obviously, this is going to be a major concern when you start bringing the workers in here. It's, Oh, yeah. You got land clams all in this thing. <laughs> yeah, my, my boys ain't setting foot yeah. in this place. If you got land clams, you got to get them, somebody out of here. No, they got the board and it's like, she, she, there's your problem right here. <laughs> you got them ground clam. Um, Trevor. They need ground clam in the earth. Oh, Trevor's here. Oh, no, no. thank God. <laughs> Look, we no. just need all werewolf. I mean, Trevor. Yeah, what was all werewolf. That's yeah. right. Any, any wolf in a storm. Yeah. Do we see any other werewolves? No. Ah, are you sure? You can go to the werewolf store. That's not how it works. <laughs> if I dig my hand in, like in one of these sand parts, yeah. it, like what am I pulling up? Uh, generally, I mean, around the, the area, this is the only sort of activity that you see. Everything else, this fresh earth, goes down pretty much as far as you want to get it. Hmm. Oh, man, I'm like shoulder deep in this thing. Yeah, yeah. She, is, she want to get it all the way in. Yeah. <laughs> is, so the soil is the same soil as surrounding? Then? Yeah, it, okay. it seems to be. It simply it doesn't have the benefit of uh, exposure to air that would allow uh, plants to rain. I see. I was going to say, perhaps uh, maybe the, the Doomgate Inn itself had like shifted to another area, like swapped mm. and teleported somewhere. I think it sank. Let me see. I will, I will dig with my eyes. Oh. Uh, oh. And I'm going to, uh, let me cast Ghostly Gaze. There it is. So that oh, I may me. look through uh, all the way down, 30 feet, just 30 feet. It's not a lot. <laughs> but I know, I want to see that, if there's any of that substructure. Exactly. So you, because you may recall, uh, long, long ago, uh, in our very first Halloween special, uh, the Doomgate Inn does go down a substantial to a substantial depth mm -hmm. uh, in the very basement of which exists a strange portal uh, that feels sad when you leave it out of parties. That's, the, that's what we learned yes. about the Doomgate Inn itself previously. Oh no, what if they left it out of a party? <coughs> oh no, no, the one thing you're not <laughs> the supposed one to do. Thing, it, we put a note up. Um, so 
uh, as you are casting your gaze through, uh, through this churned earth, uh, there's just a very clear, uh, about 30 feet in front of you inside this churned area, you can see something sort of shifting and twisting just below the soil. Just below? Okay, I'm going to get closer to that. I, I say, a churn, a shift. <laughs> in and the I, soil? In the soil. The very same. And I make my way toward it. Downtown. Yeah. Walking fast. Um, so, uh, as you, you, you reach over and uh, you reach down with a paw. Oh, am I, is it that bad already? I try to seize it. Uh, let me tell you this. It's not a paw in the classic sense, insofar as it's still a hand. But uh, you wish that it were a paw. And also, you would fuck up a salmon right now. <laughs> like, you want to be, like, on all fours with a salmon up in this area, like, I, yesterday. Yeah. I, in, on the walk over there, I allow a, a single lope. lope and then stand you back stand up. stand up. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, -uh. uh yeah, let me, let me, yeah, let me go ahead and then if there's any kind of a, a claw resemblance, I'll just, I'll use that. <laughs> yeah, just use that wide, flat paw to go nuts on this earth. Yeah. Uh, so what you scoop up out, perhaps uh, one or two feet below the soil. A salmon? Is, no, if only. It, it Ground has, salmon. It, it, <laughs> All the bounty of the sea is here. <laughs> below our very feet. Right. Uh, if only. If only. Uh, you would like a, an equivalent weight of whatever this is in fish. Oh, I see. Okay. That's the great outcome that you're looking for. Uh, what you find instead is a uh, four inch by four inch brass cube. That had been like twisting? And it is continuing to twist even as you hold it like in it, your hand. Uh, like just about one. Uh, exactly. In the center? Yeah, and or? then once it, uh, imagine that it is divided into uh, four equal slices. But after it manages one of these twists, it becomes whole again. Okay. And then when it decides to twist elsewhere, um, it allows itself uh, a little space, just enough to reshift, to find some, whatever configuration it's looking for. I see. And... Uh, it, it does this about every seven seconds. All right, every seven seconds. Here we go. Well, I'm stumped. Yeah, four sections. Is a little math problem? Four, yeah. yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> this should be... I've, I've decided that this is Dinar's fault now. <laughs> um, because tracks. You, have the, <laughs> you have the only motivation to actually keep us from becoming yeah, wearbears. Well, look, is yeah. this a, is this, you said it was a brass cube or is it a copper cube? Oh, brass. Yeah. Uh, brass. Does Kithris know the yeah. difference? I don't. Chris doesn't know the difference. I don't know. <laughs> well, they look the same color to me. Uh, uh, I lift this cube up and I see we found our culprit. What have you done with the inn? Uh, yeah. yeah. Interrogate this I was cube. Say, I got intimidation. <laughs> Please. All right. Roll to yell at the cube. I, <laughs> I will. Denard. Twelve. <laughs> It's, is it intimidated? It, it spits at you. Oh, no. No. It, it, I spit back. <laughs> no, we got this. And then, no, we, we, <laughs> you just get into a slap fight with oh, the cube. Yeah. <laughs> I bite it. It helps. The end comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. What is happening? Well, I mean, it's great. The end comes back, and then you also have a cube. So it's, a, it's been a great oh, day wow. so far. So uh, I put that in the inventory. All we need is a salmon, and we're good. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> So, uh, so to, what do you say to this cube? I mean, tell me how you intimidate this cube, or is it just a physical, you just like throw your shoulders at it? Well, what does anyone, what can anyone really say to the cube? Yeah, first I try to make it flinch. Um, <laughs> yeah, I push it into a locker. And I go, what are you doing here, you cube? Are you negging the cube? Yeah. Negging the, that classic yeah. 80s yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be a lot cuter if you were copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had that. <laughs> You're, you're pretty, almost as pretty as your sister. <laughs> oh my God! That was too real. Oh, no. no. So at, at, this, at this final uh, assault, um, uh, it projects 
uh, a four inch spike out of its base directly into your palm, Kithris. Whoa. Oh. Uh, and you take two points of damage. Uh, this spike uh, bites into your uh, palm. Uh, any moment now, you feel like there's a pause situation. And it pushes itself uh, out of your hand and onto the ground. And then as it begins to, uh, as it begins to near the ground, it's projecting other spines uh, where they are needed to begin rolling away. Oh, what? Uh, deeper into the uh, graveyard and wood behind hey. the Doomgate. Hey, wait. It's making a break for it. <laughs> That's right. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm taking off after that cube. As you should. As right. you should. I want a, I want a quick... I will, seeing you get hurt, I will immediately lay on hands. Just oh. a little quick little boop. Little boop. Little boop. You put, you put your... Uh, like yeah, right into the wound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you oh. feel better. <laughs> oh, doubting Thomas. Uh, I, uh, oh, when I was holding the cube and I still have ghostly gaze yeah. active, what did I perceive uh, uh, as far as it's working? It's very, very... Uh, you are looking through that shell. So whenever it, whenever it assumes its uh, perfect shape, its perfect form, you are looking at a handheld diorama of the Doomgate Inn, within which living creatures uh, go about their tasks. Oh, wow. Ah, shit. Gathered friends. That's some weird the stuff. Oh. Yeah. Precisely one hour before. <gasps> Handouts. Ooh. Oh, boy. Let's move the clock back and figure out what's going on here. So. Mine's blank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just the other side. You're fine. You're, you're doing well. Now, so I've got uh, a raft of incredible news uh, for all parties. Sure. So the Doomgate Inn is the premier. Uh, it took some doing, obviously. And obviously, there was new management. But Doomgate, the Doomgate Inn is easily the premier uh, lodging uh, for monsters in your area. Oh, great. It has happened. Uh, I mean, bestial uh, creatures, strange wizards, uh, alien beings, beings with too many eyes. That's the shit I'm into. Beings who are just an eye, for example. Uh, Mm. The Doomgate Inn is replete. That's too much. With, <laughs> the, too the rich Doom, for the my Doomgate Inn is replete with uh, new friends, um, and has become understood as a place of uh, safety in travel, which is a substantial challenge uh, for, particularly for some forms of undead. And so, it has developed a uh, a deluxe clientele. Oh, it's all ritzy now. It has. Th th things are looking up. Things are looking up. Uh, Gentrification. <laughs> yeah, right? Monster hunters have come to recognize that the Doomgate Inn is, if not impregnable, a, definitely a huge pain in the ass Great. Uh, to try to manage uh, according to their task. Do we feel like we're inside a tiny cube? No. Not currently? Feels, mm -mm. feels normal? Okay. No. I mean, there is, there is absolutely uh, a pressure. Uh, that is bearing down on you, to be sure. But that pressure is actually coming from Trevor. Oh. Uh, it's not coming from a, a mystic cube, for example. Okay. It's a societal pressure. It, it's, it's, it's peer pressure, frankly. Oh. Um, and it is not entirely clear why, but the normally convivial atmosphere, uh, uh, the, the good times uh, <laughs> that are so commonly had uh, in the central uh, great room of the Doomgate Inn are uh, being tamped down somewhat. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you how bad it's gotten. Trevor has created a chore list. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's where we're at. No. That's where we're at. It is not clear. He has not explained what is going on, what the deal is. But there is definitely 100% a deal. Is it like a chore wheel? 
<laughs> I, th I think that it would be funnier if it were a chore wheel. Uh, oh. Is it a chore cube? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, you almost cracked the case right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Is it an eldritch <laughs> chore cube? <laughs> Jerry's like, no. Ah, I just scraped it. <laughs> no, there goes the hook. <laughs> chore cube. Uh. Oh, it's God, chore wheel. It's, it's so condescending. No, it really is. And, and these, these stools are fine. He is rearranging stools that have been rearranged. It's descended into chaos. What's, oh. it, what's his deal? Like, is he stressed out about a particular event that's upcoming, or is this just like I mean, the bougie clientele that he's uh, trying to please now? Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, as soon as you start, um, as soon as you start courting that clientele, obviously you're beholden. Um, he has not said, but uh, this is Dungeons and Dragons, and we can do it however we want. Okay. Should we introduce what the paper we just got? We should absolutely introduce the paper, beginning uh, with you. Um, I got Mom the Knitting Spider. Uh, she is a, a very nice person that knits a lot of stuff for her friends. The end. Indeed. And she lives on the ceiling on a chandelier. She lives on the ceiling. And she talks like this. She sure does. <laughs> it's true. Uh, now, Prince Blitzen, what is your current manifestation? Vertex, the gelatinous cube, who has a... Uh, Tremendous need to hug others within self. Yes. <laughs> hug. He's hug. Yeah, yeah. Vertex specializes in a kind of inward hug. Yeah. A deep hugging. And when taking a hit, he feels a delightful tickling. Is that's, that, that's, was that from last time? I don't remember that yes, one. Yes, that's correct. A little, a little saucy it's quite right. for round two? <laughs> no, exactly. Now, does he have, is there anything in particular about Vertex's voice like that a, you'd like to share with us? Man, the panda talks like this. <laughs> We'll get there, Jerry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now, uh, over here on Rosie's side, what do you have? I am Bleth the Owlbear. Um, I am always on the lookout for my missing egg. And I hoot in a way that is somehow completely understandable. Also have a thing for hugging, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we ever worked that angle last time. No. but it, it's, something, it's something you have in there's common. There's some synergy there. Yeah. It's like an intro, like a... Uh, real world or something like that, like a dating show. I'm always looking for my egg, <laughs> and I'm always hooting in a way that's understandable. That is completely <laughs> well, understandable. No, it's, it, it's like uh, Bleth would be like in that, like that private interview room. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I got to go use the room to sit down on the big poofy chair. Where's my egg? <laughs> I know somebody took my egg. my egg. I know for sure who at this table has my egg. I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> I'm here to find an egg. Uh, Singular. The lower third, just like looking for egg. <laughs> yeah, uh, bless. I have to get into character. I play Bruce the skeleton. Uh, do not have any flavor text <laughs> on here. But Sweetie, you are flavor text. Yes. <laughs> Embodied. Uh, I believe you are. Correct. C'est vrai. <laughs> I am a French. End of story. <laughs> That's plenty. <laughs> no, there's a. Didn't you used to live um, next to your ghost? Uh, yeah, he used to live uh, in the inside, inside vertex. of vertex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, right. this is your house. Right. Do you used to live in him? You want to hug him? <laughs> no, no, no they, they, they say you can't go home. Yeah. And in this case, you just shouldn't. Yeah. You probably could, but don't. I think it's not home so much as where who this was before was killed. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that happens at home, too. It's, it's more of a murder yeah. site. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we cool? <laughs> <laughs> it worked out for the best. <laughs> uh, but he is, uh, Trevor is uh, standing behind the bar. Uh, he's got his paws sort of flat on the cool marble, and it looks like he's uh, iterating a script of some kind. He's greeting uh, invisible patrons. How long has this been going on? Too long. Let's hear, let me, let me hear his, his latest version of this. Absolutely. <clears throat> so he reaches down, gets a shaker, and sort of mimes 
putting putting drinks, putting alcohol into the shaker, mm -hmm. and then he lifts it up and then just shakes it in the air. Oh boy. <clears throat> and he says, now, I heard that this is uh, a drink that is, I, I understand that this is a drink that is to your liking. I asked about what you might like, but not in a strange way, in a way that might facilitate uh, a, a, a romantical uh, scenario. Uh, so please drink it, and I would appreciate it if you would drink it. Unless you don't want, unless you don't like it. Who's this? For? Maybe I got some bad information, and uh, Trevor. I, you know, I'll drink it. I, you know what? <clears throat> and then he proceeds to drink slowly an invisible drink. Trevor, sweetie, you gotta start over. Keep it, keep it brief. Make him, leave him, leave him one more. You can't, you kind of, I'm just like this, I'm, I'm like, I imagine that Bleth, in the, the fan art, my favorite fan art of Bleth is that she's kind of this like snowy owlbear. Oh, I'm into it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, with the little tufts, the black oh, spots. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But she's, she's enormous. She's like, you know, a 10-foot sphere. This is a multi-stool scenario. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm using my snoot, I'm batting the, <laughs> the stools back to where I put them in the original place uh, an hour ago. I'm like, no, honey, no, you've got to just... Just, you know, keep it short, keep it brief. Don't think about it too hard. He's like, Try again. You don't, under, you don't understand what I'm, what I'm up against here. And you, this girl, this woman, this, I, maybe a woman. I, <laughs> there's, there's things I don't know. And also, I got to contend. I got to contend. I'm, I got consternation. <laughs> I gotta contend with. Uh, I guess she's got an ex-boyfriend <laughs> who's been keeping an eye on on things, and he's a G Jeff Magic or Jeff Mantis, and I don't even. I don't care which one it is. I can't do neither of those. I ain't no immortal wizard, and I ain't no bug man. I. What if she? What if she wants a man with the carapace? What if she wants a man who's real hard on the outside? I can't do that. <laughs> is that a chick, chick, what, what is his name? Uh, to chick cha. To chick cha? Is, is he here? Oh, yeah, he's, he has folded his sort of, uh, his forelegs uh, over the top, uh, over the, the railing, and he is looking down, just shaking his head slowly. I, I, look, I look at to chick cha, and I'm like, no, you can't really compete with that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> He, he, uh, he puts out his forearms in, a, in an elaborate flexing motion. <laughs> he goes both ways. Nice. And then he manages, a, he manages a shrug that incorporates fully two sets of shoulders. And it is a shrug that is devastating. Oh. Uh, for Trevor, uh, I see your problem. But do you understand that almost everyone is hard on the inside? because of their bones. <laughs> that is the true carapace. <laughs> Look within. It's the, it's, the, it's the carapace within. Oui. It's the carapace inside all of us. <laughs> now, as far as this uh, magic man, uh, you cannot compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, but I, I got, I got, I got character. I got, I got, I got style. That might be your problem, baby. <laughs> He's like, and the, the hotel looks like, it does, it's not ready. There's a lot of problems. That, that stool, and he, he shuffles away around on the outside and then makes an adjustment that is absolutely undetectable to the naked eye. Uh. Honey, I think you're overthinking things. You got, you look, you got a lot, you got a lot going for you. You're a, you're a business owner. Other things. <laughs> uh, 
He is a skeleton. Let us not forget about this. <laughs> sure, he's got bones, I guess. <laughs> I don't have that, so. I don't have that. <laughs> uh, you had me for a time, that, though. That's true. But when they got away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, like you have a lot of nervous energy. But we need to <laughs> and help he's you just direct. He's it. just vibrating in place. Yeah, and like he's like wasting time on menial tasks. So I break a stool. <laughs> I go there. <laughs> it's constructive. Fix that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you just you incorporate it and then just dismantle it. I like to imagine that like. A gelatinous cube is like sitting on a stool, but just, <laughs> just it just goes around him. Yeah, it's just a, <laughs> and then the stool, like you're oblivious, but the stool is now dissolving yeah. inside. It's gone. Uh, F- fix that. Yeah, fix that. <laughs> Trevor, you have to pull off this band-aid. Who is this woman? Well, who is she? An ascent. <laughs> An ost- <laughs> She's an, an ostensible woman. Let's not judge. Who is this person? Well, do you know about? Imagine that. Imagine a, a wizard, but even but imagine like a very cool kind of wizard. Imagine a wizard that don't like dying too much and has decided they don't want to die ever. Yeah, sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> yeah. Imagine a wizard who is like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to die, and, and, and then knows how to do that. Ah. Wow. Intriguing. Uh, What's her number? <laughs> does she have a sister with a skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you can recall, it was about a month ago, there was a... Uh, a lich that took advantage of Trevor, the facilities. Oh, okay. Not the including Trevor, oh. as <laughs> as far as you know, just passing through. Um, <clears throat> but no, I mean the, the truth is is that the the Doomgate Inn has been oriented towards success in this endeavor. Um, there is uh, there's a, a, a suite of graves out back. It's got soil from different parts of the realms. Oh, nice. Um, it's just, there's supposed to be a distinct, like the minerality, I think, is distinct. Um, but they also have a puzzle room, um, where it's like, it's like a, you have to escape like a high T, and it's, it's terrifying, apparently. A lot of casualties in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has a, a 20% success rate, so it's, wow. it's rough stuff. Yeah, it's rough stuff. All right. Um, but there, there was... A lich that came through. Was she like down? Well, it's, uh, it's it's well. she spent. You would say a longer than statistically average amount of time at the bar. Ah. Uh, and she was accompanied by a. Drunk. Yeah. She's <laughs> she was accompanied by a uh, bodyguard. Okay. Who was a, for lack of a better term, uh, automaton. Hmm. Okay. Uh, like black oak and cedar polished wood. Um, and sort of inside its chest cavity uh, is sort of the travel area for this uh, customer. You're not sure oh. if she ever had any drinks. Was this, is this, she was like piloting a mech. Yeah. <clears throat> there is a uh, well. I guess I guess if she shows up, you'll be able to get more oh, information. Okay. Okay. At the time, uh, the only thing that was noteworthy noteworthy was that she spent a lot of time okay. uh, engaged uh, with an increasingly nervous uh, Trevor. What, when uh, was the last time we saw her? Like, has it been a span? A month, she's not a month ago. It, it has been. It has been a span, okay. and. Apparently, she is coming back. Oh, okay, that was my next question. Okay. Um, so what do we do here? Trevor, what do you want us to do? You want us to help you role play so that you can like, <laughs> feel more comfortable here? <clears throat> Let this be your wing skeletons. <laughs> God. <laughs> I will take a drink from this small circular skeleton. 
<laughs> and it is. Yeah. That's the only thing he drinks out of. <laughs> so he says, yeah, no, that might, that might work. That might work. I gotta, I just, I gotta get tuned up. Do you think that, what if, could it work if we made her a little jealous? Oh yeah, definitely. What if there were competitors for Trevor's attentions when she comes through? Great, and you three work on that. I'm gonna finish this scarf. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, makeover, good idea. <laughs> Trevor looks up uh, toward the ceiling, and he says, should, should, I be, should I be wearing anything? No. <laughs> I think he should wear something. It works for me. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> he's, he's constantly boning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> No, it's like he constantly bones. <laughs> he is constantly bones. <laughs> he is constantly bones. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it, it works. And so he, he, bas- he, he sits in a stool, and then uh, he invites uh, you over, Proust. And he says, yeah, I mean, I, you, you've not been in the game for some time, but you, you're, you're very smooth. You're a very smooth gentleman. Ian, I, yes. I, I, feel, I feel confident that you've got wisdom uh, for one such as myself uh, in this r- romantical arena. When, you, uh, when she was here, uh, what kind of uh, conversation did she hold with you? Well, she told me a lot about uh, her, what she called her death spire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You could have said, let me show you my death spire. <laughs> he, uh, this spire of the little death. <laughs> Le petit mort. Le petit mort. He, he, be, he, his lower jaw opens and he just begins to pant and drool furiously. And he says, I, I don't, I don't think I can, I don't think I can, and you're watching his, his paws that he has sort of splayed out on the counter. Mm-hmm. And you see them withdraw slowly into the sleeves. And you see them become pink. <laughs> and this coat that was so substantial and oriented properly for a werewolf is now much, much too large. Have we ever seen this happen to Trevor? No. It looks like he is wearing like a coat he found in his grandpa's attic. I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I get to work. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, get out of your head. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then that the fez just drops off and begins to roll slowly away. He's, if- now he's just he's waving these sleeves um, in the air, uh, and and underneath you can see a, a tussled, uh, red-haired young man. I'm as unnerved by this as Ooh. if I was a villager saw, who saw someone turn into a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> Did not. Did yeah. you take Trevor for a ginger? I was fine, yeah, until he said red hair. Then I go, ew. <laughs> it's all fine. The pink, the pink parts, I mean, yeah. that's, that's that, fine. The hackles yeah. on Bleth's back have, have raised. She's like, what the fuck is happening to Trevor? <laughs> He's like, what? what? When I, get, when I get real nervous, I turn into something that's not myself. Well, it is myself, but it's not, it's not, the, it's not the self I want to be. It isn't the self I want to show to the world. I don't know if she's going, I don't know if she's going like any of this. I promise you, she will <laughs> not. Yeah. This is not your best day. <gasps> Trevor, look, and I... He produ- falls backward off the stool. That's fine. 
<laughs> she's used to this. Yeah. Um, and uh, it always looks like she's knitting a scarf, and then she shakes it out, and it like somehow turns into like some beautiful garment or something. Um, and she has made him this uh, beautiful gray three-piece suit. Um, and it has uh, and maybe like a too much kind of like a cravat for all the drooling. It acts oh, as a bib. So it's absorbent. It's absorbent. And that's what you look for in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> but is it to his wolf proportions? No, or no, no. It's to his human proportions. Wow. Um, and so she, nice. yeah, she's, she's got so many legs yeah. and so many eyes. It's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> um, so she produces that and she, uh, she gives it to him and she, she goes, um, Honey, listen, I've been around the block. Life is too short to be nervous. If you like this girl, you got to go out and you got to get her. But you got to make a good impression because this is not working. <laughs> but it's like, but it's like her like arms and like pedipalps and just like this. No, 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 none of this. <laughs> she's pointing to all of him. What a, she's like identifying each distinct shame region. Yes. <laughs> right. Accurately. No, she is. She is enhancing quadrant one on this werewolf boy. Yes. Um, <clears throat> How long do we have before she shows up, Trevor? He says, she's, she's going to be here tomorrow. Oh, boy. I, I need help. I, I need help. I need help with my, our nightmare in. It's ghastly. It's grotesque. But is it grotesque enough? That's the question. <laughs> we got to elevate things. We need some webs. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're going to need webs. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> he starts spinning them everywhere. Yeah. Leashes love webs. <laughs> He's like, have y'all ever heard about, have y'all ever heard about, like, what is a lich, like, what does a lich, what, what does a lich need in, what does a lich need in, in, in the boudoir? Oh boy! Oh, sweet. I, mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how it's gonna go. But you know, if I, if I, if if this works, you never know how it's gonna go, Proust. You know what liches are into, right? Hey, I have to say I've uh, I've never been with a lich because I am the embodiment of one who is dead, and if they wish to be immortal, I don't think they would be so interested in me. But, but the, perhaps that is an opposite attract thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a taboo thing. Exactly. Like, <laughs> instead, exactly. instead of playing hard to get as a, as a mere uh, human, uh, you are playing hard to keep alive. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one tip you need to write down. Yeah, exactly. So he reaches his hand uh, out of the sleeve and there's, there's something about this, there's something about this tender advice uh, that has returned some confidence to him, just thick gray hairs starting to sprout in, in, a, in a way that you'd like, yeah. um, beginning to sprout out of the back uh, of his hand, the fingers extending, uh, like additional joints somehow being found oh, yeah. inside the human body. Attaboy. <laughs> That's what I like to see. The other, the, I have another tip. I'm sure you, you both have been around the block. Right. He reaches that uh, massive furry paw uh, toward a quill and begins to take careful notes. Excellent. Now, every lich has a secret little spot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they call it the phylactery. <laughs> you're going to want to find it, and you're going to want to tickle it. <laughs> Just right. Uh, uh, this I remember. <laughs> yeah, write it down. Yeah. He's, he's like, he, he tries to write down the word phylactery in no less than six different ways. It's, it's spelled C L. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looks up and just nibbles the pen tip. He's like, I don't, I don't think that's right. <laughs> it's so right. Clylactery? <laughs> it's Latin. <laughs> he, 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 he just nods, ha, ha, ha. 
goes down, commits fully to the final spelling. What, what kind of advice might the two of you have? He's like, no, I'm, he says, now, Mom, you have, I, I assume that you have some experience in these matters, but my understanding is that, generally speaking, men do not 100% survive uh, their encounter. Yeah, yeah. No, they <laughs> die, straight up. Yeah, no, I kill them. That's what you want. That's ideal. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what it's going to be like with a lich, but I know with a spider, it's very much like, you know, the best time you've ever had, and you can't live up to it again, so you might as well just... Eh. You can expect a lot of that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if that advice is, strictly speaking, actionable for me. Just, but I do appreciate the, your, your time and your consideration. Protect the head <laughs> for when she unhinges her jaw. and Protect your neck. Protect yeah. your neck. What about you, Vertex? Uh, you just you want to make yourself as open as possible. Just get, just get her in there. <laughs> just, just get nice and wide and just throw her in there. That, that works for me. He's, most he's, of the sort time. Of, he's uh, reaching out and just <laughs> testing his body for opening potential. Yeah. Just find the, the biggest, biggest hole you got. <laughs> Throw her in there. Works every time. <laughs> uh, a classic. <laughs> Jeez, I should be taking notes. Yes. I'm a bit of a romantic. <laughs> I'm old fashioned. <laughs> so uh, he produces the uh, chore wheel and tries to tries to associate individuals. Of course, there are other. Uh, other friends here as well who can take advantage of some of these. But he looks up toward the, uh, up the grand stair. Uh, there's obviously the uh, event room directly behind, which has a somewhat sordid history. Uh, but there's also, he says, I think before she, she comes here, we should probably... We should probably deal with, with room 106. Do we know what's going on with room 106? All you know about room 106 is that um, there is a guest there who has some kind of arrangement with Trevor mm -hmm. to stay, and Trevor has been unable thus far to back out of this arrangement. You think, you think that he is averse, perhaps, to uh, tension, social anxieties? Conflict, yeah. Surprise. <laughs> um, okay, Trevor, we'll take care of this problem. Why don't you just take care of everything I'll, down here? I'll take care of these stools. Great. And, <laughs> yeah, fix this one. I'll break another one. <laughs> <laughs> Dissolve it to yeah. dust. He's, he's gathering the stools together in the hopes that he can create maybe part of one functional stool uh, from this shrapnel you've provided. But for the time being, uh, he does appear to be usefully, ap usefully applied. Yeah. All right, room 106. Great. Maybe my egg is in there. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for my egg. <laughs> I heard that. I remember hearing that. <laughs> that was earlier in the show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so are we all proceeding up yeah, the stairs? Let's yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know uh, what? Why not? Let's, let's, let's proceed let's with just, the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Squatter's rights. We'll let's allow just it. Check them out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you uh, mount the stair uh, and come around the uh, banister on the left uh, to Chick Cha, the uh, Thrycreen folds both sets of arms and uh, cocks an antenna. Uh, <laughs> with interest um, as you approach uh, room 106. Maybe later. <laughs> but I give him a long look. No, yeah, his, his mouth parts begin to writhe. It's not clear what it pertains to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if it's good or bad, <laughs> but there's a lot of it. Um, That's what counts. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the saliva begins to thicken slightly 
into a sort of frosty looking beard. Mm. The, um, Wait, keep ew. going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, after, a, after a short period of time, this beard begins to uh, splinter uh, and fall down, and he shovels it back into his mouth. Yeah, save that for later, big boy. <laughs> he coughs. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, uh, Proust is knocking on the door 106. No, no, no it's, a, it's, it's a cough, and then it's like um, using the foreleg to sort of like uh, adjust the antenna. Oh, like, we're not done with more this. More slick back, Jerry. <laughs> God, all right, just, we get it. Just tune it up you a little a bit. You have a boner right now. I get it. Yeah, this <laughs> horny bug character. Yeah, yeah. Jerry's new that. self-insert. All right. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I'm going to describe it. You all have to listen. All of you. <laughs> yeah, and more than that, you have to picture it. Yeah. <laughs> Here are my various drawings. <laughs> It's not enough that you hear it. It's like, it's got it's like ten <laughs> dicks. <laughs> My, There's one dick with nine no. splintering off like a tree. <laughs> Proust leaves the room. No, he does not. He stays. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he can't get enough. He absorbs it. So we're knocking on the door. It changes his life. No. God damn it. <laughs> He's changed. No. Right. So, um, yeah, yeah. So you go up and knock on the door. And... The door itself is, you would describe it as a little soft. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, exactly. And to the extent that each knock uh, sort of leaves an indentation in the surface of the door that uh, quickly begins to sort of fill back up. And perfect it. But this is one of the reasons people stay in room 106. Almost certainly. They this love is this a, gross this door. is a value add for a certain clientele. Room service. <laughs> Ask <Asky peace. laughs> I do everything. <laughs> no, no sounds. Come in. No, no. No, you, you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the handle of the door seems to sort of tip and droop slightly in the. Uh, in the wooden frame. So do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, is that, is that good? It's, it's a tie on the doorknob? It's, yeah. it's hard to know. Yeah. Yeah. It's an, uh, no, a this, length of intestine. I mean, how does it work? This knob's a drooping. <laughs> Don't come stupid. Don't come stupid. <laughs> I got there first. I got there first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try the knob. Absolutely. Go ahead. You're the only one with hands, fingers of any kind, so yeah. we're really oh, relying true. on yeah. you here. That's right. It's, it's a the, big job. I'm the like only hope before yeah. like, you just crush and <laughs> overflow the room. Use those magical thumbs of yours. <laughs> ah, this will do the trick. <laughs> Show off. No, I, uh, uh, Proust, secret power. Yeah. Proust, ah. Proust turns to you Behold. and uh, and uh, the the jaw goes. Open a little bit, and those empty sockets hold on you for a moment. And uh, he says, "I winked." <laughs> I know. <laughs> it you. It, it's like a like at the fair. It's like a taffy pulling machine. <laughs> you, you you take it, give it a couple twists. It's a temperature that you don't like. Okay. And as you pull it the whole door sort of comes out along with it. Is the like knob? Like stretching around the knob. Okay, so the knob is metal, but the door itself is whatever it's this is. Something else. Um, so so you, have, you have pulled it uh, a foot or two away, and it is, it's, like a, it's like whatever the dark version of a fruit roll-up is. And uh, you've pulled it out, and there's just sort of like a little dome of stretched out material here. Yeah, it looks like those thumbs are really coming in handy today. <laughs> Good job. I will use these thumbs to pull the entirety of this room out. <laughs> I'm just trying to like now, it's like a tug of war, oh. try to form it into a tube. <laughs> so so, so you, have, you have now pulled enough of it out that it is over the banister <laughs> and, is, and is continuing to pull down. You could climb from the upper part of the building down is just this, on this stretched rod. Is, what do we know about this room? Is this new for this room? Whatever the arrangement is, 
is between Trevor and... At the border or the room? Yeah. <laughs> it's not clear. <laughs> so All you know is he okay. has been unable to get, uh, unable to come to an arrangement that would involve vacation so uh, from this room. The, the person or thing that's in this room wasn't always in this room. There was a time that we are familiar with before this was there. Absolutely, yeah. The, was the room like that then, as we search our memory banks? It seemed like it had a door then, a real door. Okay. So it's the thing in there. Like a regular this, wooden this door. This is not with a, a normal property yeah. of this room. Does okay. room 104 uh, have like that shared door that locks on both sides? So can we go in that way? <laughs> like if you want to rent them both out. Ver oh, for a single? No, it's just, it's just a single. <sighs> okay. Vertex, uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you maybe want to dissolve some of this? Uh, oh yeah, that's, I was going to ask if there was a gap underneath or oh. anything. If the room was perfectly sealed, I was going to try to squeeze it. Well, no, gap. I mean, it, it, this is a, this is an awesome image too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, that, the, the keyhole is now sort of like distended and strange uh, underneath this drawn out, yeah. uh, extruded portion. Hmm. Um, oh, thank you. Aww. Thirsty boy. I am a thirsty boy. I stay hydrated. Um, is, it, is it your new yeah. tagline? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Him and water. Look at those two. <laughs> oh, look, it's Name a more iconic combo. I'll wait. Um, He's a little water boy. Uh, yeah, all right. If the keyhole's a little larger, uh, I'll go, uh, I got this. And... Uh, I imagine he's filling up the whole hallway, <laughs> yeah. though, so you have to like move out of the way, and then he just kind of goes like, yeah, and then goes, <laughs> 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 see, what see what they write. Oh, I, I would, uh, I I would like to, hey. hey. Yeah. Oh, schlup. I go, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, over, I go over the banister and say, hey, Trevor, you should be taking notes on this. <laughs> <laughs> This is the sound of success. <laughs> <laughs> Through the keyhole. <laughs> but, so is, it, is it a single flow or is it spurts? It spurts. Okay. Gross. With this prostate. Uh, so he's like... <laughs> <laughs> is that the first prostate Listen, joke of... First of many. We Pax House 2019. Yeah, take a moment. Prostate health is no laughing matter. No, it's not. <laughs> You're going to want to go get checked. If, lots of especially water. if you're me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this last day. Uh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. So you uh, you travel through the aperture um, fully uh, with yeah. enthusiasm. Yeah. And uh, almost immediately, you're conscious of uh, uh, a temperature and air change inside the room itself. It's indistinguishable from a cavern, insofar as okay. there are stalactites and stalagmites. <gasps> Top and bottom. Both. Both. I mean, it's, it, this, is, this, is, this would be a great room to rent, frankly. Yeah. It's already damp. You feel right at home. The only thing that is unpleasant about it, or would be unpleasant for someone else, it might be easier for you, is all of the huge bats you think there's too many. If you, had, if, you had to, if you had to say, you would say that this is more bats than you want. Mm. It's, it's uh, there are a lot of bats in here. <laughs> <laughs> I yell. <laughs> there's more bat than rube. <laughs> uh, open a window. Let out these bats. <laughs> That's a good idea. Is there, so, do I see a window? There isn't. So uh, it's very much a cave. Yeah, it's, it is. It is essentially a cave, except the thing that distinguishes it from uh, your traditional cave mm -hmm. uh, is a uh, hourglass uh, about five feet in height, and the and each half uh, of the hourglass mechanism mm -hmm. has a face on it. Yeah. And as you come in. The sand runs all the way down, and the bottom flips up, and you see a new face. Oh. Hmm. And it says, hey. Hey. What's going on? Uh, not much. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just doing what I do. 
Cool. No, I mean? Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Cool. Well, I gotta be going. <laughs> it's getting pretty late, so. He's like, <laughs> no, it's just like it's just pseudopods. It's just like, the, like you're a cube, and it's the two tips of the, these corners just go. Very <laughs> short. Like a, like a snail. Yeah. Um, he says, yeah, it's just, just bro to bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever you want to, whatever you were trying to do this afternoon, just wrap it up quick, because it's all, it's all ending, so. Well, that, may, that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I had no plans. Yeah, well, that, that's fine. Uh, can you uh, unlock the door just so I can get out? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Thanks, man. Cool. Oh, one last thing. Uh, what, what do you mean by all that weird oh. shit you just said? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, everybody's got, like, a hobby, right? I mean, you have a hobby. Oh, yeah. What's your hobby? Uh, uh, stamp collecting. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then I just, there's, like, stamps just all, like, <laughs> floating around. Yeah, they're, like, floating around in, like, a lower corner. <laughs> but you sort of, like, turn so you can see yeah. the stamps. It's like, I got like four. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, just, you, just, you just getting started or? No, I've been doing it for like a year. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I mean, I, I basically, I mean, I just count down the time to oblivion, but well, I also sort of like decide when it happens, so. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. It's not like a new job, like a promotion. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, I mean, it's, it's a jobby. I mean, it's, it's something I like doing, but it's something I got to do, so. Hey, when, when you, you're doing what you love, then you're never working or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, probably, I'm thinking maybe two this afternoon. I'm just going to, I'm just going to close it all down. Reality? <laughs> yeah, basically. Wow. Well, okay. And I ooze away. <laughs> <laughs> is, the, is the door open? No. no so he, yeah. So when, no, when you come back out, he just comes out in the like rectangular square of the door, yeah. pushes the door off of the front, and then the rest of the door and the stretchy material sort of schlups over the top and then piles up down at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Trevor shrieks. Then you can you can hear uh, you can hear uh, brooms and mops clattering somewhere down there. I got, I, I got good news and bad news. Great. <laughs> the good news is this Trevor's little romance problem is not really a problem anymore. <laughs> so he's not gonna have to worry about that for much longer. That's great. What yeah. you do? That's wonderful. So good, Vertex. Yeah. You're, you're incredible. You're welcome. Bad news. <laughs> I mean, uh, what, I, I I don't even need to hear it. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm in such a good mood right now. Yeah. yeah, I feel like we covered all the bases. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> we should just leave, though. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> but, like, you guys, you guys will have fun. <laughs> no, there's a talking clock that's going to end reality in, like, a couple hours. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Did I stutter? <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's the, uh... <laughs> what about that doesn't make sense? <laughs> is there... Is... <laughs> uh, is there... Uh, now that that, that... Whatever that goop is, is over the edge there. Oh, is there yeah. an opening <clears throat> now? No, it, 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 as I say, he's basically like... He's just... Vertex is just extruded out in the... Uh, in the rectangular shape of the door. Yeah. Oh, right. And then now it's, you are basically, you can see into this sort of dimly lit cavern. Um, and about every minute, you hear like a, a, like a mechanical clank and a bass thud as uh, the hourglass mechanism clanks to a new position. Oh, okay. I'm going to go in there. Same. Uh, my vertex is just done. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll go back in, too. Hey. <laughs> Do, yeah. 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 No, it's like, tell, but the, the tell little, them what you told me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Me but again. like the face, <laughs> the, um, the skull face uh, on the front of the hourglass just sort of turns to you, Vertex, and just gives you that like chin nod. Yeah. Who do you think you are, and what do you think this is? 
And what should we think it is? <laughs> what is all of this? <clears throat> it's like, I, look, I, I've been putting it off, and it's like, I mean, I've been reading books about like how to get it together. Uh, I've been doing checklists. I've got one of those journals, like a bullet journal. Oh, yeah. And I'm finally getting my life together. I have been putting off oblivion for probably a million years. And that's not an exaggeration, like a million fucking years. And I'm just going to do it. I think I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it this afternoon. Uh, Listen, we have a friend. You know him, Trevor. Yeah. He's trying to get his dick wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe you can put it off just one day. The, the hourglass mechanism on its uh, obsidian <laughs> dais raises itself up on an edge and clunks down. And it gets closer and closer to you, Bled. He's like, I mean, how wet? <laughs> Sopping. I mean, how wet? I knit myself earmuffs. <laughs> so what are we, I mean, what are we talking? I mean, Trevor's, Trevor's my boy, so. He's, he's been. He, 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 he lets me stay here. We know. He, um, he's been foamy for this one for a while. Uh, it's been about. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like rabies, right? Oh, God. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, the reference. I think, I think uh, this might be his last shot. And I feel like ending Oblivion is kind of the ultimate cock block. <laughs> the hourglass mechanism sort of tilts down pensively. You can see the sand traveling sort of slow in its passage. And he's like, you're saying it's not a, you're saying it's, it's, it's not a bro move. I mean... You're Vert, saying, like, ending, like, all of it, like, all the stuff. You're saying, like, er, er, like... Vertex backed me up here. It doesn't seem very chill. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not cool, dude. Not cool. It's like, well, I mean, how... how I've, I mean, we, we both know the kid. Uh, I mean, it might take another million years. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, if I do this for you, then it's like, you know what I mean? What's a billion years well, between friends? <laughs> That's a good persuade. You said, you said this afternoon? Uh, yeah, at two, in, in case I don't do it at two, and then it'll be at three. I think that, uh, that puts the pressure on us to help Trevor before then. <laughs> but she's not going to be here till tomorrow. This is a real uh, American pie situation. <laughs> 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 Les pie américains. <laughs> le, le... <laughs> it's like pastry. Yeah. La pâtisserie. Le, le gâteau américain. Tre Trevor's not just going to throw it into any lich. She's got a special one. We can't just find a substitute lich before 3 p.m. in this town. <laughs> you don't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> <laughs> gets out a little black book. Yeah. <laughs> Le book noir. Le <laughs> lit noir. We get it, you know French. <laughs> <clears throat> He's like, well, I, I mean, I could probably bump it. Okay. It's not a good idea. Like, this is going to throw off all my stuff. What if I bump it a thousand years? Uh, two, I take off no. my earmuffs. <laughs> Is it going well? <laughs> Make it two. Two G's? Yeah. Bro? This is Trevor we're talking about. <laughs> this, yeah. The, it sort of nods in its swivel. It's, yeah. T, man. Okay. All right. Two G's. 2,100 at the top. It's, it's done. Done deal. You're very generous with your time. Well, all right. And he says, <clears throat> he says, look, I mean, I, I, I stay here. You know my room. 
Unfortunately, I do. Well, I'm just saying, uh, it's possible uh, you've never, it's possible you've never been with an incarnation of oblivion, and I mean, that's a kind of a bucket list thing for a lot of people, so. <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been looking for this. <laughs> it's working on Bruce. <laughs> I see Bruce weighing and I'm like, maybe I'll pave, I'll pave the way for this. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm, uh, I'm looking for someone who's a little more able to fertilize my eggs, but maybe... Uh, yeah, I, I, opposite. That's like my specialty. You're an egg fertilizer? No, 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 no. Flip it around. The destruction. Do it oh, the other way. Absolutely, oh, yeah. Got it. Don't right. put an egg in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, um, I know somebody who may be into that. It, the, the face on there is a skull. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. It's a, uh, imagine a skull. <laughs> yeah, imagine a skull sort of uh, almost like applied to the, like the bulb of the hourglass whose lower jaw uh, just sort of shifts up and down. Ooh, yeah. Just enough to get the job done. <laughs> I'm over helping Trevor, and I only want to help this. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make this. You got to make that thing work. Um, <laughs> so weird. What's next? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you think that uh, there would be anything for Trevor to learn from this uh, interaction? Perhaps. I'll go ask him if he wants to watch you fuck a clock. <laughs> 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 Slide down the stairs. Thank you, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> my <nami. laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> D&D is a wild game. <laughs> Even our Halloween special is a Valentine's Day special. Yeah. It's true. It's true. We got one kind of special. You gonna ask him? Yeah. Yo, T-Dog. Uh, we could kick yeah. the clock out, uh, but instead, Bruce is going to bang it. <laughs> uh, do you want to watch, like, for notes or whatever? <laughs> I, my, 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 sus my suspicion is that there will be very little about that that I can apply to my own uh, romantic campaign. There's only one way to find out, dude. <laughs> You're not wrong. Let's watch. Let's all watch. We'll all just right. gather I'm gonna around. Watch. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch with one. I'm gonna watch with one eye. That's enough. All right. He places a paw on the banister. Takes plenty of time. Are we fucking doing this? We're fucking Coming doing this. Stairs. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. No time to settle in. Role play it all out. No. And then he. Paint me a picture with your words. That's Chris. time for my sex thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's so a fucking hungry episode. Uh, <laughs> Trevor uh, comes very near Bleth and tries to get the comfort that he needs. Uh, and he's ready at a moment's notice to just to bury his eyes in the tuft. Okay. Yeah. Can we just gather in a semicircle? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> well, <laughs> we're waiting. <laughs> No, but on this side of the room, it's like, like, Bruce is very, very close, it's like face to well, face. No, and, and I'm saying that the face is implacable and right, yeah. eternal, except for every minute, it goes, right. and then the face is there again. Yeah. Uh, tell me. And uh, caressing, like laying one uh, phalange <laughs> on the, uh, against the, the side of the glass. Does this, uh, does your sand go all oh, the way down? <laughs> what we are making these people type <laughs> is such a treat. The, the glass. <laughs> Don't look. Shivers for a moment in its gimbal. <clears throat> and it says, hey kid, you ever fuck death? <laughs> 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 
No, but I'm willing to learn. <laughs> he says, <clears throat> you can see a, a small book sort of hover up near. It opens wide toward the face. You see a pen come over, and then you can hear it make just a pronounced check. <laughs> oh, is that it? Is that, are they done? Uh, and then, I've knit, uh, like, um, sleep masks for all of my eyes. <laughs> I'm in, like, a sensory deprivation tank. So there's just there's a, a check in the book? Yeah, and uh, then the book is flung against a wall. The quill is flung against another wall. Everything, and I do mean absolutely everything, is consumed with darkness. Okay. What do I, what do I, what do I get out of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on with me? Yeah. yeah. How you did you? Now what about me? <laughs> <laughs> you got yours. So what about me? <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> What am I witness to? Right now... With this blue sea. <clears throat> right now, it is primarily... Imagine a, imagine a dissolution uh, burrito with uh, a side of negation. <laughs> Cream. It's extra. And then imagine that this meal <laughs> is devouring you instead. Ah, uh, yes. Dude, I have a boner. Yeah. Oh. They're doing their esoteric shit, but it's like hot this I time. Know. <laughs> uh, this is a. Uh, I have a, a heal spell. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to use it anyway because it, it is called the lay on burns. <laughs> you, and you, that is what Death is going a, to you, do tonight. You, now, he does have an ability called lay on bones. Yeah, also, but when I wrote that ability, I never imagined it would be utilized toward this purpose. Yeah, right. But I'm fine with it. You never imagined. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, right. But I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, So something uh, at this point, you can see Proust uh, disappear out here. You can't see it because of the the night masks. Oh, no, I'm actually peeking. You can peek. With the tiniest eye that I have, I'm like... No, yeah. <laughs> no you're, you're covering it up. You don't want to watch, but I'm describing everything. You're like, oh, yeah. You're... Now they're groping each other. Like, in your ear. Yeah. Like, it's fucking gross. <laughs> I'm like, please, <laughs> stop. Oh, God. Now he's gone. <laughs> what? And I look. Okay. So this, uh, he disappears in the room, but you can still see his uh, reflection... Uh, in the surface of the hourglass, uh, his spine arched. Um, <clears throat> and then you hear, you hear a voice uh, from out in the main room, and it says, you're now enjoying a spell by me, Jeff Magic. <sighs> and then a few seconds later it says, you're continuing to enjoy a spell by me, Jeff Magic. Jeff Magic's spell is now complete. And Proust uh, sort of like his leaps is drawn out of the reflection and flattened against uh, the ground, like sliding out of the room. And it is at this point that as you look into the great room downstairs and outside, you can see chunks of the Doomgate Inn lifting apart from one another and then physically sliding and spinning around. Oh, hmm. no. mm. So that, uh, and, then, and then laying back down atop one another. And then the entire configuration inside of the building is being repurposed, so, slidden and reconfigured. I've got um, Trevor still, like, kind of, Snuggled up with me. Uh, I turned to him he's, as he's was, whimpering. I go, Did you write all that down? <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for all, I mean, if you, hadn't heard the, if you hadn't heard the voice, you would think that this was connected in some way to this erotic ritual. Yeah. Mm. Do, uh, if I skitter back out into the main room, do I see a Jeff magic? You, you don't see a Jeff magic? I have so many eyes, though. Are you sure? <clears throat> well, no, no. But, but you can see, like. Uh, Real free eye. <laughs> uh, when the 
uh, when the slices, these tender slices of uh, the Doomgate Inn are raised, mm -hmm. it's almost like there's a watermark in the crevice between mm -hmm. these chunks. And it says, this spell by me, Jeff Magic. <laughs> oh, boy. And then it sandwiches back together. And so, in, so inside, you can see that uh, it's slowly sort of twisting itself around. And then, ultimately, uh, it's, each of those slides is undone. And now you are in the same, uh, the original shape of the Doomgate Inn is returned. But when you see out the window, uh, it is, you're not seeing the topiaries or anything like that. You're surrounded by uh, what look like uh, soil dunes. Mm. All right. Now we go back to the C-team characters. Oh, wait. One more, <clears throat> if I may. One more Proust. So Proust got shot out. Yeah. Uh, uh, grabs, uh, like, like staggers to his feet, grabs your shoulder, or grabs like the knee <laughs> yeah. to, for balance and says, uh, we were interrupted. I'm, I'm going to have blue bones. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, let's go back. Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, the, the hourglass, uh, as, just as the last things, we can finish it there. It's like, maybe I'll make it 5,000 years. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <clears throat> so this thing has, uh, has now pricked your palm and is now like a, a spiny uh, sort of urchin type shape is now trying desperately to roll away uh, across the sand. Yeah, I want to, um, uh, I'm running after this thing, as I said, uh, what feels like a million years ago now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everything has changed. Uh, yeah, is it, is it much faster than me? Uh, it is just a titch faster than a person, but it is gaining, it is gaining speed. Like the longer it travels, the longer the spines become. Okay. And so its rate increases uh, this way. Uh, oh, go ahead. You sorry. Go ahead. Um, so as I'm running, yeah. uh, like I take a run and it's so fucking anime. I just like turn into a wolf and just like keep on running. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I uh, try and catch up with it. I'm dashing as well. Yes. Um, I'm not turning, I'm not intending to, but little baby bear ears have popped out of my head. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 And it's like the sense. nose is like a little tilted mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. There's yeah. more of a, a snoot, for lack of a better term. Yep. Uh, how far away is it? Uh, like right from you right now, uh, Walnut is chasing it directly. This is perhaps 40 feet away from you. Ooh, okay. I would love to cast Levitate on oh. this object and halt its movement. Uh, let's see, it would have to beat a uh, con 16 if you've got cube stats. Well, it doesn't, have, it doesn't have stats like that, but I will definitely have it try to resist the spell. Okay. Uh, it absolutely does. Okay, no good. So you, 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 you try to manufacture this energy around it, and the spines just slice, slice it to ribbons. Mm -mm. Well, that's me. I'm going to stay here then. <laughs> So with Dash, I'm get, I got 90 feet. No, no, you're fucking nuts. Okay. So you can get around the front of it okay. and, be on, be on the, and basically have it flanked between you and the nut. Okay. I do that. Are you kidding me? I am so fast, too. You ding dong. Actually, not very fast. Never mind. It's only 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 45, but Dash, I got 90. <sighs> That's so fast. I see you go by and I get pissed. Bigger <laughs> <laughs> well, panting. Uh, Principal 10. Well, I'm not fast. <laughs> So I cheer them both on. I go, yeah, get it. Fuck that cube. <laughs> get him. <laughs> like throw a rock. No, we're close. Exactly. No, it's, it's All right. guys are way better. So on the subject of anime, so there is now a uh, rapidly expanding uh, needle bristled thing rolling with intention over, about to roll over you. So tell me, what the, tell me what the grandmother does under these circumstances. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go, okay, I haven't seen much anime, but I feel like 
<laughs> but I feel like I get it. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm channeling its energy. So as this, is, as this thing is rolling, Rosie takes her little tiny grandma body and he, she goes into this power stance mm. and it comes up toward her and it's that <laughs> Oh, but it's like, so, but you have basically found like that sort of Kool-Aid man space. Yes. Between all of these teeth. Oh yeah. The, the most famous of anime. Yeah. Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> but so essentially, it's but it's but again, it's 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 like the game show where you have to contort your body essentially. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm trying to do a stunning strike on it and see if I can get it to halt its action. I love it. Um, that's going to be a con save. Um, I believe my con save is like 14. Yeah. Say 14. But you roll to attack it, correct? I do. Yeah. Would you like that? I want that so bad. Mm. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing it. I'm doing that's an unarmed attack. Okay, so it's a 21. That's quite good. Okay, and then yes, I will attempt to stunning strike it as well. Uh, this one takes root. It's like the it's like the sound of a uh, the sound of a bell uh, when your fist connects with the this this cube in the center of this okay. structure. Dong. <clears throat> and it's. It no stops. More, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been a game. Um, so, <laughs> Wiener. <laughs> uh, so this thing is it, this thing is stunning, and you are running yes. head on into this. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, it's I, I guess this is like the reverse of an Iron Maiden. Yeah. Right. It's so like the, the, are they spikes or are they needles? What well, they are spikes that are very thin at the ends. That's fine. I'm ready. Um, so I, uh, yeah, do I, do I just run straight into it? Is yeah, that what happens? You, you, you tell me how you contend with it. I want to, like, dip at the last second, um, and I want to try and get one in my mouth. Not like, not like this way, no, like, like, but like, on it, I mean, this that's, way. That's not, that's not what you want. You no, want that's that. not what I want. You I want, want something like this. Yeah, I want that. I, yeah. Not, not the hot dog way, the hamburger way. Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> it's the no, opposite are, of stupid. I want to. I want to get it like Ryan eats a honey stick. Oh God. Yeah. In the middle. In, in the, the middle. Right all in, the in the my hands. Uh, Ashley, should you give me an attack roll. No. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it. Um, hang on. That's a little known D and D rule. Um, <laughs> if your DM tells you to do a roll, you just say no. Ooh, Ooh, 24, so bench. All right, so you, you hunker down yeah. uh, in this wolf nut form, yeah. and you basically sort of like have a lever uh, on the side of this thing that now it's stunned from the front, it can't move, and you can, with slight movements, mm -hmm. uh, control its position, essentially. Incredible. It's like, it is like an incredibly large, incredibly dangerous dog toy. So, um... I, <laughs> yeah, so I get it in my mouth, and I do one death shake, like it's a bone, um, and the whole thing goes, um, and I, then... I reached for it, and you, like, took it out. I go, no, no take, only throw. Um, and, uh, oh, everybody loves that meme. It's yeah. good, it's good. It's a good meme. It's a good meme. Um, and I lift it up to one side, and then I just slam it into the ground. Nice. Um, and try and get it stuck. Exactly. So the, the spines uh, plant themselves... Uh, you know, multiple feet down inside this uh, tilled soil. Great. Uh, it, is, it is, for the time being, absolutely stuck in position. Um, so at this point, I will uh, revert my form, um, and I want to... But the, the needle's still in there? With the needle's still in there, I'm like, pat, pat, pat. Uh, And then I want to cast uh, Dispel Magic That's on exactly it at the I like. highest level. God, you're you're going to reveal magic's freshest layer. I am. Um, and I'm going to look at that spell so that I just know what it, what, how it do. How it work? Oh, it's just instantaneous. Uh, yeah. DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Um, so 15. Okay. Wiz or? Uh, sure don't know. Hey, this is really fun. No, it just says, um, <laughs> it just says make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Yeah. So this, so. this you is. You can cast it. It just depends on what it does. Yeah. 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 This is, the, the roll is incredibly bad. There's oh, only, thank the, you, Timora. Yeah, there's only one more number on this dice that is worse. Great. So 
It's a two, basically. Oh, oh so no matter what. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, eight sucks. So <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck eight. <laughs> the uh, the needles rapidly uh, are ingested by the cube, and it is even now beginning to, uh, with each twist, become a larger and larger version of the Doom Gate Inn. Uh oh. So you have. You have a period of time here to resituate. Uh, or they got a new location. <laughs> yes. New configuration. Yes, really? exactly. Uh, uh, or there'll be uh, a new location, uh, perhaps somewhat farther back. Yeah. And there might, be some, there might be some new landscaping. Yeah. Uh, I look at Rosie and I say, I point to it and I go, uh, fastball special I mean, to I mean, Dinar. It's, it's happening in real time. <laughs> no, I know. Like, <laughs> throw it. Oh, OK. All right. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to. Go long. <laughs> I'm already like back where. Yeah, yeah you were way back there. To chase it. I'm like. <laughs> All right. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I just chuck it as hard as I can at you. All right. Uh, I, I would... catch it as hard as I can. <laughs> how, how, how big does it get in the air? Is the question. Oh God. Is it full size? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Drop it. <laughs> don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna we're gonna do the whole thing. Um, but Why I did would you listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, give me an athletics. Uh, oh, see, it'll be fine. I'm terrible at athletics. It's sports. I've got a minus one to athletics. Can I go like hit the audience up for money so we can get advantage? <laughs> <laughs> you give me five dollars. Seven. No. Okay. Oh yeah. So it it is flung through the air, you know. and it grows to perhaps ten times its size. That's still pretty small. On the way over. OK. And then, big, like and then hits the ground uh, in front of you about 20 feet away. OK. Uh, how, so how big is it? 10 times bigger than a, yeah, yeah. It was a box like this four, size. Four, yeah. It's like this building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Four by four. It started as a four by four cube. Yeah. Um, and now it is 10 times that. But it is incredibly heavy. 40 by 40 dense. cube. It's not doubling every time. All right. Uh, so it's incredibly heavy. Well, I'm incredibly strong. Uh, so I go, good throw. <laughs> and uh, you can't tell if he's being sarcastic or. No, I can. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Nah, no, you can't. Oh, he's, she's lucky, I'm though. Lucky. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, fine. You know he's being sarcastic. Uh, well, if it's getting big and it's doing that, uh, I, um, I don't want to pick it up. So I run over and I, uh, I try to kick it over to where it needs to go. <laughs> so it'll just roll over there. So I'm trying to mess a. I go, messy. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo. Boop. All right. Athletique. Athletique. I'm going to take advantage. <laughs> that's oh, Jack. But it was really good. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's still good because my athletics is crazy. Yep. Uh, 15. <clears throat> so you, uh, you give it a, a good kick, like mm. catch it right on the edge. Yeah. Get that little spin. I get the instep. Uh, all the characters that we were playing previously uh, are now on a, a radically new, uh, uh, having a, an incredible experience inside this <laughs> whirling version uh, of the Doomgate Inn. It's essentially like a full dryer cycle. Uh, <laughs> Inside, it's like a dryer full of croquet balls, just banging, banging against one another. I got Trevor in my bear hug. I'm yeah. like, don't take <laughs> notes on this. Um, I uh, shoot webs and stabilize my friends. Nice, Whoa. just catch them. Yeah, I catch them all, so we're all like just stuck. But then everybody else is flying around. Say, Vertex is just like, Bleh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you just dissolve all the it's webs. Like... <laughs> yeah, and it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's not even a problem. So you, you kick it, and it's sort of... Uh, <laughs> Fuck more clocks. This is awesome. <laughs> it's like nobody look at what is going on with Proust right now. <laughs> There's some sort of a paroxysmal <laughs> shudder. Yeah, no. Oh, he's it's, having, it's working for him? He's having a great time. So the Doomgate Inn uh, sort of spins and skitters uh, into place as it is even now, like rapidly doubling and then doubling in size. 
<laughs> just like, it's like rolling and becoming more of a building. And then it like looks like it's going to land normal and it's like, boop, on its side. <laughs> and then you know, back to normal, but just on its side. No, no. It's, this is actually already, this is what's oh. actually happening. Okay, so I'm, I'm, we agree. Um, uh, and it is now like tilting and teetering uh, from the side until it lands flat on its base on exactly the original space of the Doomgate Inn. Perfect. We did it. Great job, everybody. Let's go home. No. Um, no. I'm already in the cart. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you I, got, I got two bear paws. I'm like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. But there's a pronounced... That's your uh, right. Uh, <laughs> it's my right to bear arms. <laughs> You know your rights. <laughs> ah, that's so, so stupid. There is a squeak, like the, the wrought iron gate mm. of the Doomgate Inn squeaks, uh, giving you the impression that someone farther down the hill mm -hmm. is approaching the inn. Who the fuck are we right now, Jerry? Right now? Who are any of us, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll settle in. No. No, yeah, you want to feel that one? That, yeah, you want to answer yeah, this one? Yeah, no, Alyssa, I, if you could put up my slides. <laughs> uh, well, I, could tell you, I could tell you, I think, who I am. Uh, is that as, as you turn toward that gate, uh, a, a, a bear on two back legs wearing a cloak of stars... <laughs> Just sort of like comes like up a circus you. bear. Yeah, it's a little late for Chris. Oh. <laughs> the two, the two, the paw comes up to the head. <laughs> so it's like we have to find salmon. <laughs> <laughs> all this is very good, but the salmon is very important. You me. all look so absurd. <laughs> it's just making fun of you. <laughs> Are you not transforming? Yeah, Does Denar not? Denar only gets it when he gets the, the stuff. The stress, like he didn't yeah, get we, it. Y'all get it a different way, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's so a, he was afraid of being made fun of, and now he's just making fun of you because <laughs> he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm turning into a bear. What happens if I wild shape into a bear? What it, what happens? Double so, bear. Yeah. Hey, let's go into it. Do I turn into a double bear? I have a st I have stats for double bear. Well, what what <gasps> form? I mean, what, what what form are we talking about here? Uh, no, I mean, if I... Drop bear. I no, drop bear. bear. Honestly, yeah, the spider-bear combo oh, wow. is a, is a, is, has to be considered a drop bear scenario. No, I want to... Um, I, uh, so, uh, it's Australian as fuck. You said somebody was... <laughs> it's true. Shit, I got to play to my audience. Yeah. Uh, Don't act like they're not real. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I eat a bunch of Tim Tams. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walnuts in the back yeah. doing a Tim Tam slam. What do you guys do? <laughs> I'm drinking a Foster's. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, oh, they, 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 listen, they turned, they, they turned, like I turned so did, fast. I say it. It's yeah. not good. It's not I'm good. saying Foster's is bad. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, so someone um, is coming up the gate. Uh, yes. But we, as the C team, don't know or care about that. So I really just want to get in the doom game. <laughs> yeah, turn Absol to the bears, yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. And so um, you can you can pull around. I mean, it really did, it really did just lay flat right on the foundation. Mm. What are the odds? It really was Incredible. nice. You can, you can hear you You're can welcome. hear the uh, you can hear a few uh, squeaks uh, from the joists mm -hmm. uh, as it settles back into its uh, traditional locale. But as you uh, as you emerge from around the Doomgate Inn, mm. uh, approaching the uh, generous uh, front doors mm -hmm. of the Doomgate Inn is a, a, like a jet black, like shining, polished wood uh, warrior, mm. wow. for lack of a better term. Okay. Uh, on his back is a uh, massive bastard sword, mm -hmm. and there appears to be a, a substantial um, something held within the chest cavity uh, of this entity. 
Um, and it's, 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 it's ISR topaz. Oh uh, and it's just taking in, it's just gently walking up the grade with, abs with, with utter martial confidence. Um, being that it's made out of wood, I'm just like transfixed on it and just, <coughs> I, I just follow it. I'm like, oh, oh, what is this? Incredible. Finally, something interesting for me. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> Walnut gets some. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a completely a baby bear at this point. <laughs> We're just rolling uh, around, like touching your feet. Yes. Like. Yeah, I'm figuring out my toes. I got the staff of the master in the, in the mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, if you're a baby bear, I guess I've turned into a bear at this point, too. I was just assuming that I had not. Because oh. I had power over, like, sh changing you have shapes. Power over cha and I'm smaller, so it's less square footage. So I yeah. figure I'm just, I'm, it's, it's done. Less total volume. Yeah. Right. Maybe exactly. I got you under one arm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's just, like, hanging down she's on both regular. sides. Just, yes. <laughs> I'm just regular here. It's like, me is, <laughs> me normal, all of, everyone around me turns into animals is the theme of my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. You have a thing, right? You have a thing. Lean into it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the entity uh, gives you uh, a deep nod and okay. opens the front doors and walks in. Yeah, I, f I follow it and I um, start petting Rosie. <laughs> I got your, I like, I got your, um, your, your leather vest. I'm working it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, stop, stop it, stop it, grandmother, jeez, control yourself. You're getting that tooth. So the, the interior, uh, as you follow behind, mm. uh, the interior of the Doomgate Inn looks as though it was tossed by the mob. Oh no. It is an absolute, it is an absolute nightmare. And it's 90 degrees different. Yeah. yeah? <coughs> oh. It did land, though, right? Oh, it landed. It fell yeah. down? Right. It okay. fell down on, oh, the, on the square footage. Yeah, I was definitely operating at a 90-degree yeah, angle yeah, there. Hoping yeah, hoping it would just be like, oh. Well, that's just new, how it is now. All the new art, it's just <laughs> sideways. But it's, like, but it's like, you, but it's totally new interpretations, yeah. you know? Okay, um, gotcha. And so... I go, oh, my God, was the mob here? No, everything... So the tables are on their sides. Um, the uh, chandelier is completely caught up in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the stools are good, honestly. Like, <laughs> the stools could be worse. The stools could be a lot worse. Um, yeah. Trevor, Trevor uh, sees this, uh, this wooden uh, friend and gives him a weak wave, uh, lifts the sleeve up, gives him a weak wave, and he sets the table up, and then he pulls a chair over to it, um, and the automaton grabs the chair and slides the chair over, and then grabs a second chair and slides that chair over, and the same way that you might reach into a breast pocket, he opens his chest and takes out a very simple clay jar, uh, upon which is... C-L. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Upon which is emblazoned a, uh, a kind of like a death's head moth type shape mm. in ruby. Ooh. Uh, and he sets it in the middle of the table. Uh, and the moment that he sets it in the middle of the table, the second chair is occupied. And she, you have expectations, certainly when it comes to lichdom. We've all heard the stories, of course. They're just like us, <laughs> you know? Um, Liches ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Um, she is from another time. She is a, an emissary of a radically different social order. And uh, Trevor's hands begin to tremble in front of him on the table. And uh, he has dressed in the suit. Um, and as the grandfather coat falls away, uh, the young boy 
uh, inside is revealed. And she places a hand on his hand. <gasps> and she places a hand on his cheek. And she kisses him anyway. Thank you so much. <gasps> Oh, and you're all still bears. Emotions. <laughs> Emotions, I've got them. Oh, my God. Hey, thank you, so much. thank you so much for coming out for our Halloween slash uh, Valentine's Day special. Uh, we, uh, of course, we uh, revere you, Shadow Council. The Shadow Council dice set uh, are still available over at the Level Up booth. Uh, Acquisitions Incorporated Clank, still available at the merch booth if you're lucky and you go fast. Um, Clank C-Team Miniatures, uh, available at Unplugged. Uh, immediately after this, indeed about a half hour, over in the Q room, there will be a Acquisitions Incorporated signing with everybody you see here. Uh, thank you one last time to level up, and of course, thank you so much uh, for coming and sharing this story with us. See ya.